in this example, we want to link to all these gray cells. So somewhere at the bottom here, we want to link to them so we can do a chart and have things right next to each other. The problem is I don't really want to go like this equals and then go to the top and click on it and then enter and then continue to do that. So a quick way to do that. First thing is you do is you switch your filter on. I'm just going to highlight that whole area. Data filter. So I'm just going to use the filter so that I can. I'm just going to go to the first one and I'm going to say filter by color. And wherever there's gray cells, just show them to me. So you'll see we've got those gray cells. Normally there's a lot more than this, but this is just an example. I'm going to then highlight and I'm going to copy with a control C. Now you'll notice because we've got the filter on, you can see that each one has been individually copied. I can then go where I want to place it. I'm going to go to home, paste, paste special, and you'll see there's a paste link option. When I click on it, if you look now at the formula, you'll notice that says I26. So there's I26. That says I37. So what it has done is taken all the copied places and instead of pasting what was in there, it actually links back to it. So that works quite well. You will notice, however, there are dollar signs. And in this case, what I'd probably like to do is copy this across and that's not going to work very well here. So what I'd suggest is we just highlight that. I'm going to do a control H, so find replace. And I'm going to say, please replace the dollar signs with nothing. Replace all. And now it's very simple. I can copy this across. And each of these, you'll see is looking at the correct gray cell. And we can now use this in a chart or, or pivot table or anything else.